All right, so as we're looking at this, tangency doesn't take into account any of the surrounding curvature. But the G2 option takes into account the surrounding curvature, and it makes a smoother blend here. Now, if you're going for a cosmetic type part, where you're constantly worrying about shadows and reflections across the faces, you probably are going to want to use that smooth G2 continuity fillet. So you'll notice that in this back section, where it was a steeper angle, we actually have a situation where the curvature carries across here and it actually flattens out a bit on the top and then comes back down on this edge. If we rotate this around, we have a, uh, again, a very similar instance where it sort of flattens out on the top and then the curvature is carried through the sides. So again, this is a great result if you're talking about doing more consumer type products where you have to worry about reflections and how they go across the edges because this is a very important situation and not all CAD packages can handle smooth G2 continuity with fillet edges. So it's a very welcomed addition to Inventor. So now let's go ahead and hide Solid 2 and let's bring back Solid 1 and talk about some other options. So if we go into Apply a Fillet and we're going to expand the options, we now see that they're not all grayed out anymore. We have roll along sharp edges, roll ball wherever possible, and automatic edge chain. Let's try to find some examples where these make sense. So if we rotate the model around, we have this bottom section where we have a steep edge. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a 0.06 fillet, and we're going to go ahead and fillet all three of these corners. Now the option to roll ball where possible is going to change the look of this corner specifically because this corner has an angle that's steeper than 90 degrees. Now this specific one has a 60 degree angle between these faces. So as we look at this, a traditional fillet would keep it consistent on all three edges. But really what's happening is this is getting smaller because this fillet 0.06, if we took a ball and mill inside of this, on the back side of it, which obviously isn't realistic, but on the back side of that, it would not be able to completely get into this corner because it's too broad. If we turn this option off, you can see what the blend between the corners looks like. So keep this in mind if you're dealing with models that don't have 90 degree edges and you need to do a blend such as this. Now if we OK this operation and we take a look at another edge that has a very similar profile, we'll go ahead and we'll do the same kind of fillet on this edge here. Now this one has 90 degrees. And if we turn this option off, you can see again, it's changing the look of that corner. I'm gonna bring in the steering wheel. I'm gonna put the center right here. So as we orbit, we're focusing on this. So again, let's take a look at this. Keep in mind that turning this option off changes the look of the corner, changes the way it blends, and leaving it on brings all three fillets nice and tight as far as they'll go until they intersect each other. So it just depends on what you want your specific model to look like. And again, talking about the manufacturing processes that's going to be used to make it. So let's talk about roll along sharp edges. Now the main purpose of roll along sharp edges is to preserve edges that have fillets added to them. Let's go ahead and rotate this model around. We'll close this out and we'll take a look at some of the additional fillets we can apply. So what we want to do is we want to get to a situation where we can apply a fillet that takes away one of these edges. So in order to do that, we're going to have to remove some of these additional fillets that we applied. So fillet 8, we're going to go ahead and suppress. So that way we no longer have the situation on these corners. So let's go into fillet. Let's grab the base of this cylinder. And let's make this fillet large enough so that it takes away this edge. Right. If we expand our options, roll along sharp edges is going to change the way that this fillet interacts with this edge. If we apply it, you can see that we have a nice flat edge. So roll along sharp edges will take into account what happens to this edge. Some fillets will actually raise a bump on this edge, but you now have an option inside of Inventor where you can dictate what happens to this edge. If you want to preserve the fact that it stays straight, or if you want to allow the fillet to raise it up. 